If a Google search is any indication, these are the 12 most burning questions people have about the Mediterranean diet. And if you're watching this video, chances are you have some of these questions too. So in this video, I'm going to do my best to give you a few simple fact-based answers. Mediterranean diet Q&A. Hola, I'm Caroline and my channel is all about helping you learn to eat the Mediterranean way every day, no matter where you live. Some of the answers are going to be really short and sweet. Others will take a bit more of an explanation, but I've chapter marked the video so you can pick and choose whatever questions you're most interested in. Or just stick around for the whole list and maybe you'll learn something helpful that you didn't know before. So let's jump right into it, starting with question number one. Number one, what exactly do you eat on the Mediterranean diet? The Mediterranean diet is mostly plant-based foods and healthy proteins. Take a look at this visual for how to think about the diet. It's a plate that is half filled with vegetables and fruit, a quarter filled with fiber rich whole grains, and a quarter filled with healthy proteins. Dairy, poultry, and eggs are included, as is seafood. Red meats and sugary sweets are eaten once in a while, and water pretty much accompanies every meal. Number two, what are the top 10 foods on the Mediterranean diet? Well, I'm not sure I could pick only 10 foods to top the charts, but I can tell you which ones I think are the most helpful in following the diet every day, and the ones that might give you the greatest bang for your buck, nutritionally speaking. Number one, dark leafy greens. Number two, berries. Number three, Greek yogurt and low-fat dairy. Number four, extra virgin olive oil. Number five, beans and legumes like chickpeas, white beans, and lentils. Number six, fresh fruit and veggies like tomatoes, broccoli, and green beans. Number seven, whole grains, oats, and quinoa. Number eight, salmon, anchovies, and sardines. Number nine, nuts and seeds like almonds, pistachios, sesame, and pumpkin seeds. Number 10, spices and garlic, plenty of garlic. Number three, What's not allowed on the Mediterranean diet? Almost nothing. Go easy on foods that contain saturated fats like butter, high-fat dairy products, and red meat. If you just can't live without them, just enjoy a lot less of them and a lot less often. Do your best to avoid a lot of sugary treats and steer clear of those unhealthy, highly processed foods and sugar-sweetened beverages that might cause some serious health problems. And that's it. Pretty flexible, right? Number four, what's a typical Mediterranean breakfast? Naturally, it all depends on what Mediterranean country you happen to be enjoying breakfast in. In general, though, breakfast is a small meal of savory flavors. Here in Spain, we have two breakfasts, a little starter between 7 and 8 in the morning and another quick sit down around 10 to 11 that covers us until lunch at 2. A glass of fresh squeezed orange juice, a small espresso, and a baguette with grated tomato and olive oil is a classic or a wedge of potato egg omelet, known as a tortilla española. It's very common, too. Even little slivers of cured ham make it onto the breakfast table. In the Eastern Mediterranean, you might see a small sampling of savory dishes known as a meze. Hummus, fresh olives, yogurt, pickled vegetables, flatbreads, and olive oil. But what you won't normally see anywhere in the Med are big, heavy breakfasts with sugary cereals, pancakes, waffles, or three egg omelets with bacon, buttered toast, and hash browns on the side. Number five, what's a typical Mediterranean lunch? When you're eating the Mediterranean way every day, lunches are the biggest meal of the day. So they'll include healthy portions of nutrient-dense vegetables, fiber-rich whole grains like rice or quinoa, and a healthy protein from beans, legumes, chicken, or fish. Dessert is typically a piece of fresh fruit, and water is the beverage of choice. I've published a bunch of menus of the day in the community tab on the channel that include ideas for what to have for lunch, so you might want to take a look at some of those for specific meal plan ideas. Number six, what carbs can you eat on the Mediterranean diet? The quick answer is any healthy carb. The longer answer, well, you might not be interested in a nutritional science class with this one, but I'm sorry, here's the science. Number one, carbohydrates are one of the three essential macronutrients your body needs, full stop. The other two are proteins and fats. Number two, carbs are the primary source of energy your body uses when it converts carbs into glucose into energy. Number three, there are unhealthy carbs and healthy carbs. Unhealthy carbs include white bread, pastries, sodas, and other highly processed or refined foods. Not good. Healthy carbs include all vegetables, all fruits, all grains, nuts and seeds, all good. And all of these foods are an important part of the Mediterranean diet. 
I hope this quick Q&A is clearing up a few questions you might have about this healthy way to eat every day. And if you're enjoying the video, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. It seems to give the algorithm something good to think about. Number seven, what's the fastest way to lose weight on a Mediterranean diet? Hmm, I've always thought that a much better question would be, on what diet are you least likely to gain back the weight you lose? But since this is the question, is a Mediterranean diet a fast weight loss diet? No, but research shows you can knock off a pound or two a week and it's far more sustainable. So you can lose weight and more importantly, you're much more likely to keep it off. And here's five tips that might help you pave the way. Number one, serve up your meals on a pre-divided plate like this one and it'll help with two things. You can stick to the right balance of foods and you can stick to the amounts that'll limit calories without having to count them. Number two, eat your biggest meal in the middle of the day. Number three, drink mostly water and sometimes coffee, tea, and an occasional glass of red wine if you're so inclined. Number four, work at avoiding processed and packaged foods. Opt for fresh ingredients that haven't been tinkered with. Number five, move, just move, whenever you can and wherever you are. Number eight, are bananas okay on the Mediterranean diet? This one has an incredibly short answer, yes. Bananas are a great fruit to enjoy as one of your five a day. They're packed with fiber, potassium, vitamin B6, and give you slow burning carbs to help you feel fuller longer. Number nine, how do I get enough protein on the Mediterranean diet? This worry about the Mediterranean diet really stumps me. I get it that a big hunk of red meat is not a Mediterranean way to eat, but then again, how many people actually eat that much red meat considering how expensive it is these days? You're probably much more likely to enjoy chicken and turkey, lentils and beans, or fish like a can of tuna or salmon, and eggs, or yogurt, and real cheese, nuts and seeds. I bet you'll be surprised at how fast it adds up when you eat a balanced Mediterranean diet, especially when almost every food of plant origin, except fruit, contains a certain amount of protein. And by the way, you might think you need much more protein than you do. When the average age adult who weighs 120 pounds needs 43 grams, 160 pounds, 58 grams, 200 pounds, 72 grams. But if you're younger or older, you really should ramp it up. And I'll leave a link below for a super simple calculator from the USDA if you're interested in knowing exactly what's recommended for you. Number 10, are potatoes okay on the Mediterranean diet? Absolutely. Potatoes are a very typical ingredient in the Mediterranean diet, as are all root vegetables. But as a starchy veggie, potatoes don't have as much going for them as other tubers like sweet potatoes and yams. Just remember, if you love potatoes, leave the skins on for extra fiber while baking them instead of frying them and swap the butter and sour cream for extra virgin olive oil and herbs. Number 11, what bread is good for the Mediterranean diet? This is another simple question with a simple answer. Don't bother with white bread made with refined flour and additives. Any bread that's wholly made from whole wheat and whole grain fibers are great fiber rich options instead. Number 12, what are the fats in the Mediterranean diet mostly? For a little background, there are three types of fats. Saturated fats that comes from animal sources, mono and polyunsaturated fats that come from plants, and trans fats that come from a factory. The Mediterranean diet recommends three things. Use heart healthy mono and polyunsaturated fats to help maintain healthy cholesterol levels. Limit saturated fats that can raise bad cholesterol levels. Avoid trans fats altogether. Above all, the Mediterranean diet basks in olive oil, but other nut and seed oils are popular too. And don't forget that other classic Mediterranean ingredients like nuts, avocados, sardines, and olives are mainstays of this diet that provide healthy fats as well. Thanks so much for joining me in this little chat about the Mediterranean diet. And of course, if you have any questions that weren't answered, make sure to leave me a note in the comments and I promise I'll get back to you as soon as I can.